Welcome back. Today, I want to talk about five things you should have when you want to do a PhD in computer science. I already talked about in another video whether or not a PhD in computer science is worth it and five things that are indicators that maybe a PhD in computer science is not for you. And in this video, I want to talk about five characteristics, attributes you should have when you consider doing a PhD in computer science. And at the end, I will also tell you what the must have is to really succeed at doing a PhD in computer science. Okay, so let's dive right into it and look at the first thing you should have when doing a PhD in computer science. That is, you should already have explored how research works. What do I mean by that? Well, you're probably doing your bachelor or your master degree right now. You are at the university where you're already working for a research group, where you're working together with a professor, where you maybe already have published parts of your master thesis, or at least are writing a research paper also about your master thesis that the professor thinks he might be able to publish somewhere, that's the first step. Because then you already have tried out how a PhD student is working later, right? So you know that what a PhD student will do, namely doing research, writing papers, is something you enjoy. The same is true for any job. You should do an internship, ideally before, before you choose whether that's a career path for you or not, right? So before you study computer science, you should do an internship in a software engineering company to figure out whether this is the right thing for you, sitting all day in a chair staring into a computer screen. And it's the same thing with research, right? Trying research while you're doing your masters, working in a research group, getting to know PhD students, talk with them what they are doing all day, figure out what they are doing, and then decide whether that's something you would also see you doing. That's the first step, the first thing that you should do. The second thing is you should enjoy solving hard problems. Because every PhD student, whether that's computer science or other disciplines, you will have to solve hard problems. And it will take time to solve hard problems. And you have to just try, 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 try again until you have solved them. And you should not be somebody that just gives up um, when you are facing a hard problem and you say, ah, I can't solve it, give me the next problem. You should also enjoy going really deep into a specific topic, not just scratching at the surface, but really learning a lot, maybe even all, or at least attempting to learn all there is about one specific topic. If you are not a person that enjoys reading other research, learning more and going deep into a topic, then this is maybe also not so good. But if that's something you are interested in, that's already a perfect first step, or in this case, second step. So if that's something you are interested in going deep into topics, that's great. The third thing that you need to have to be successful at doing a PhD is you need to be able to motivate yourself. You need to be able to structure your day to get out of bed every morning or maybe also every afternoon, right? That, that's the nice thing about PhD life, but then you go to bed very late at night. But you have to get out of bed every day, at least work days, and then go to work and you have to enjoy it. And you have to do it not because there is somebody that's pushing you, but because you want to do it. That's important. It's all about you. It's your first step into the academic world. 
and you have to demonstrate that you can motivate yourself to do this. If you're somebody that always needs to be pushed by others, that's not so good. The fourth thing is you should not only do it to get a PhD title. Of course, the title is nice, right? And, and you, you should later on use it with pride, show it with pride, no question about that. You have earned it once you have it. But it should not be your only motivation. And then the fifth reason is you should not only do it for the money and you should have a very good understanding what it means in terms of income, salary, expenses, and how it affects your life, maybe your family or people that depend on you when you are deciding to do a PhD. It's very different depending on where you are on in the world, how much you earn, whether you earn something, whether you have to pay something. So you need to understand that before you decide whether it's something you can afford or whether it's the right phase in your life to do this. From a priority point of view, I think the having tried out research, understanding what it is that you will be doing is probably the most important one. Because it is a decision that will be for three to five years of your life, right? And before signing up for something that's three or five years of your life, you should really understand what it is. Of course, you will never know for sure how it will be in the three to five years and life will always have surprises, but at least having a rough idea of what it is that um, is waiting for you while doing the PhD. And then the second um, important thing from my perspective is really this motivating yourself. Keep going. Be, be able to solve the next problem, right? Pushing your heart to solve the next problem pushing yourself to go deeper into a topic that you might not find that interesting maybe or when you have to do something that's more of a theoretical nature but you want to do more practical things sometimes it's also something you need to do right so in my thesis i had um, in the end a lot of mathematical proofs that i needed to do it's not really something that comes natural to me but yeah i had to go through it I had to do it and in the end it was fine. Right? It's not the part that I enjoyed most about my PhD, but I did it and in the end, well, maybe it was a couple of weeks of my life, but it's over. Okay, so I hope this video gave you a little bit of guidance on what you are looking for, what are the things that you should have or should consider before making a decision whether or not to do a PhD. And of course, I also recommend the two other videos that I have made already about whether or not a PhD is worth it and five reasons not to do a PhD in computer science. And of course, if you don't want to miss similar videos like this one in the future, please subscribe to my channel. That helps me also a lot to grow this channel and uh, bring more content like this to you. And of course, if you have liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have questions, suggestions, comments, please join the discussions in the comments below. I always like to discuss with you. I will get back to you. I will read your comment. I will answer your comment. And I can't wait to start the discussion. And I see you in the next video.